Hello and welcome to the Mr. Spreadsheet YouTube channel. This is the fifth video in our basic bookkeeping spreadsheet design series. And in this presentation, we examine and incorporate the gross profit metric into our design work. Gross profit is one of the key performance indicators for all businesses. It is therefore essential that we include this as a vital component in our basic bookkeeping spreadsheet. This is the completed template we are designing and so far we have covered bookkeeping basics in video 1. In video 2 we cover cash accounting. In video 3 we introduce the chart of accounts and in video 4 it's bank balances. This video, video number 5, calculates and explains gross profit. In the next video, number 6, we cover spreadsheet error handling. Then, in video 7, we concentrate on the income statement. And finally, video 8 completes our final template. All of these videos can be viewed on our YouTube channel, where we have created a separate playlist for the basic bookkeeping spreadsheet series. For complete details, please refer to the description section below. We do hope that you enjoy watching. As usual, we are giving away a free copy of this completed spreadsheet template. To get your free copy, all you have to do is to follow us on our Facebook page and then send us a direct message quoting free bookkeeping spreadsheet. We will then send you the download link together with a 100% discount code which you can then apply against the product's cost. Alternatively, you can download the product directly from the Mr. Spreadsheet website where it is priced at just $9.99. Just follow the link shown above and in the description section below. Any business that buys and then sells products will need to know how much money they are making from the sale of each item. Similarly, any business that uses raw materials and then adds added value to these materials in the form of labour or any similar process will also need to know and to be able to compute their gross profits. In our bookkeeping spreadsheet so far, we have already defined our sales and our cost of sales categories. The categories we have created also contain further analysis types to help us break down and provide a more detailed examination of these income and costs. The basic formula to calculate your gross profits is to take your sales value and then deduct the cost of sales value. The result is your gross profit, and this is commonly expressed in both value terms and in percentage terms. The gross profit percentage is your gross profit divided by your total sales value. If we take a look at our bookkeeping spreadsheet, we can already begin to see how our gross profit is shaping up. Although we only have two lines of data, we can see we have sales of 500 and cost of sales of minus 215. Our gross profit, based on this limited amount of data, is 285, i.e. 500 less 215. Our gross profit percentage is 57%, i.e. 285 divided by 500. That's quite easy to see. However, as you add more and more receipts, and more and more payments to your bookkeeping spreadsheet, the picture will be constantly changing. Let's add a few more lines of data and then examine the results once again. Pause the video while you copy in the data on screen for the next four lines. And if necessary, expand the column widths such that all of your data is clearly visible. We can now recompute the gross profit. Our sales are 990. Our cost of sales are 685, so our gross profit is now 990, 
minus 685, which equals 305. 305 divided by 990 gives us a gross profit percentage of 30.8%. Whilst we have been entering in these additional lines, we have then had to type in the payment or receipt amount once again into the categories section. We can automate this process such that once we enter a value into the amount field, then based on the analysis type in column E, we can then automatically populate the correct category. So, for instance, our last line of data is for the purchase of materials to the value of 185. Materials is one of our cost of sales analysis types and therefore needs to be shown in both cells H11 and K11. To do this we will use an if statement and to make our if statement work we will need some way of identifying or linking each analysis type with a category. Navigate to the Analysis tab and go to our Chart of Accounts list. Cell C35 contains the analysis Sales A. Let's give all of the sales analysis types a category indicator. In cells D35 to D39, enter in the number 1. In cells D40 through to D42, enter in the number 2. OK, at this stage in the design of our bookkeeping spreadsheet, we are concentrating on the recording and calculating of our gross profit categories. However, later on in this spreadsheet, we will be examining all of the categories. So let's complete the categorizing of our chart of accounts by filling in the values I have entered in the analysis tab in the range starting at D35 and ending all the way down in cell D83. Basically, sundry income is category type 3, expenses is category type 4, and other items is category type 5. Please pause the video whilst you enter in these values. We are now going to use the VLOOKUP command to help our bookkeeping spreadsheet work out which category each analysis type belongs to. Navigate back to the Bookkeeping Spreadsheet tab and go to cell AA6. Yes, that's right. Cell AA6 is currently out of view, so we need to navigate our cursor way out to the right of our data table. Now, let's enter in our VLOOKUP command. So, with cell AA6 active, type in equals VLOOKUP open brackets point to cell E6, comma, highlight the range C35 to D83 on the analysis tab, then a comma, the number 2, comma, and then the word false, and close the brackets. Hopefully, Excel will return the value of 1. Let's examine this formula a little closer. The VLOOKUP command is asking the following question. Find the contents, matching the value of cell E6, which is sales A, in the table set out on the analysis tab in the range C35 through to D83. We can find the matching value in cell C35. Then return the value in the second column of this table, i.e. the one located in cell D35. OK, let's make this VLOOKUP command a bit easier to read and to understand by naming the table range of C35 to D83 on the Analysis tab. So, highlight this range and then go to the Formulas ribbon and then choose the Define Name command. In the New Name dialog box that opens, enter in Analysis Table with no spaces in the Name field and then click OK to save and close. Now navigate back to the bookkeeping spreadsheet and to cell AA6 and overtype the analysis C35 through to D83 with simply analysis table. 
the VLOOKUP command now reads equals VLOOKUP open brackets E6 comma analysis table comma 2 comma false and close the brackets. Let's copy and drag down this formula to row AA25 at the end of our bookkeeping spreadsheet. We can see that the first six category values have been successfully returned, but the remaining lines show the NA error message. This is because the corresponding cells in column E are not currently populated. We'll correct this later on. For now, let's return to the bookkeeping spreadsheet and go to cell I6. This currently shows the value of 500, which we have entered manually. Overtype the 500 with the following formula. Equals if, open brackets, AA6 equals 1, comma, H6, comma, inverted comma, inverted comma, and close the brackets. The formula says, if the value in cell AA6 is category number 1, then enter in the value of cell H6 into the active cell I6. If, however, the value of AA6 is not category number 1, then the formula should simply return a blank. Now, copy and drag this formula down to row 25. You will now see that the first six lines there are two instances of category number 1 and the two corresponding amounts of 500 in row 6 and 490 in row 10 have been correctly returned. The other four lines where we have an analysis type have returned blanks. The lines that do not have an analysis type have returned errors, which once again we will correct later on. Navigate to cell K6 and enter in the formula equals if open brackets AA6 equals 2 comma H6 comma inverted comma inverted comma and close the brackets. Here we are seeking matches for category 2. The value returned is a blank. Now copy and drag this formula down to row 25. All instances where the analysis code is part of the cost of sales category are successfully returned. If the category is not category 2, but is another category, then a blank is returned. And if there is no analysis type in the corresponding column E cell, then the NA error message is returned. We will return to these errors and show you how to correct them in the next part of this bookkeeping spreadsheet series. We do hope that you enjoyed watching and designing this bookkeeping spreadsheet video tutorial series with us. If you are new to the Mr Spreadsheet channel then please do subscribe and if you want to be notified of our future video releases then please be sure to select the notifications option as well. If you need further help or clarification of the various formulas, functions, commands and routines that we have used, then please do use the comment sections below to leave your message. We will always reply to these. And finally, if you like this content, then please do give this video a big thumbs up. We look forward to seeing you in the next video, details of which will follow shortly.